All right, welcome back into Study Ball, continuing on with the college series. And uh, I went and taped um, a video for these top guys, and then I kept watching tape, and I would come back and find another tape that I'm like, oh, well, that shows me a little bit more. Uh, maybe I need to go back and do uh, a second tape for all of these guys. And I said, yeah, let, let's do it. Let's try to give the best look that we can from all of these guys. Some good, some bad, some things they need to work on, some things that you know kind of stand out for each of these guys. So, um, so today we're gonna look at Caleb Williams, part two. I went back against uh, Colorado and watched his tape. And now we can say what we want. Colorado didn't have a great defense, some of that stuff. But to me, it's not so much about the quality of player that's on the other side. It's more about what you're seeing defensively and how you process that information defensively to what you're doing offensively. That is how I'm evaluating these guys. Is I'm trying to look at the processing piece, not, oh, did they play against a good team on the other side? That to me isn't as important as, can I see them go through their reads? Can I see them look at the defense and, and see rotations and understand where to go with the football? Do they have the playmaking when opportunities are there to make the plays that they should make? And so let's dive into the tape of Caleb Williams. Uh, I guess this is part two of Caleb Williams against Colorado. Okay, so again, first one, we're going through most of the pass plays. I eliminated some of the pass plays that kind of were uh, overkill based on what we had seen the time before. Didn't really tell us much. Uh, but again, just feel, just understanding, okay, so they've just got a little hitch route here in the slot. But these are kind of things that they may not look like much, but to me, I'm looking at, okay, does he recognize what he has pre-snap? So he's got a linebacker tucked way inside. He's got the slot defender outside of this hitch by number two. No help up over the top. Understands that's a soft spot in the zone. Boom, get the ball out of your hands. Go get yourself a completion and rock and roll. So it's why it's so important for you guys to watch my tapes and understand how I'm evaluating. I'm not just looking at completions. I'm not just looking at highlights. I'm looking at the understanding of the big picture for these different quarterbacks. Okay, so here's a play right here. And again, I don't know how they ask them to read this. Okay, but so they're running a guy in here. I'm not sure if he's stopping or just kind of running an angle. And then they've got the curl and the swing out here. Okay, so it looks like Caleb looks inside first i believe a lot of the offense that they're running is what we call pure progression so you're going to look at this and see if you have it if you have it hit it and then go on from there for me when i'm reading this what i'm doing is i'm saying hey i got the corner off over here i'm going to get an isolation on this linebacker with my curl and my swing and then i would react in here uh, to this guy based on this linebacker pushing through so i'm going to read this a little bit differently but what i like is Caleb looks inside, he pulls it back because this defender's taking it away, great. Now it's an isolation on this guy, and what do you have? And he's able to come back and put that curl right in back behind that linebacker who widens. So already you're seeing uh, you know, just a little bit more processing from Caleb Williams than we saw in his first game. Even though his first game was a, a big game in terms of numbers and not very many incompletions and all that, it's a different kind of game, okay? So here. Another hook to the inside. What am I looking at? Pressure. They're bringing pressure, okay? What's your answer for pressure? Do you understand what you're seeing? Are you trying to beat it with your legs or do you have an answer with your mind and with your arm? Great job right here. I say C pressure, attack pressure. Pressure's coming from there, the extra guy's coming from there, boom. Replace it right behind with the throw, love it. Get the ball out of your hands quickly. Get it to your guy and let him make a play for you. Okay, so a little bit more of a college RPO. You'll see this a few times. Buffalo runs this a little bit. So we're coming back with the RPO and we're reading this defender right here. So we got the post over the top. We come back with the RPO. If he comes down to fill, we look to go up over the top to the post. If not, we've got this stuff working back into our vision to that side. So Caleb really good at this stuff. Sees it, comes back, gets that hesitation. That's all he needs. A little hesitation by the safety, now he's got him. Okay, he's got him up over the top. Okay, one thing you're gonna see a couple times in this game is I'd love to see him with a little bit more touch 
on these deep balls, okay? So some guys throw the deep ball really, really well. Some guys throw it a little too flat. Obviously something that you can adjust. Jordan Love was a guy that I thought threw the, the go ball too flat. He adjusted last year, learned from that, and threw it much better. So great read right here. I like the set and the quick hitch. Just like to see the shoulders tip a little bit more. Lay this ball out there and let your guy go get it. Try to be perfect. And by perfect, I mean you're trying to throw the ball 45 yards on a line. You got to drop it right where it needs to be or you miss. You lay it out there and allow your receiver to slow down, to speed up, to go get it. Then it allows the margin for air to go up or down or however you would say that. Okay, so another one right here. I like the decision. Okay, so what we're doing is we're going to run a quick out here and then a corner over the top. Going to read this guy, although they bring the corner blitz. So I think that rushes Caleb here a little bit because you're not sure. They do a great job of bouncing out. Their tackle does a great job of bouncing out and picking this up. But you see him starting to slide going, oh, man, the pressure's coming there. Now, probably could have taken this one if he wanted it right on time. Get set. Be ready to throw it, right? That's another part of the process. To me, you got to read this short to long. So be set right there, and you got a chance to throw this out here. Now, this guy does jump it and give you the opportunity over the top, but you've got that quick throw if you want, especially if you're feeling pressure. I want to be set and ready to get this ball out because now passes that up, rushes it a little bit, and then misses the throw up over the top. But as I said, what you're seeing is some processing. You're seeing them see different things. Safety come down, hit the post over the top. Okay, that corner turns his hips and jumps the underneath out. I'm going to throw the corner over the top. Replace some pressure. All things that you're going to have to do at the next level. All right, so again, th these are the things that just kind of like, I don't know. Uh, we're running a guy right here. We're going to a guy over here. And then this guy's running an out. So he's running an out into coverage there. Everybody else is kind of running into coverage. We've got a curl on the back side. I don't really know what the progression is because everybody's going to a different spot. So you see, like, there's just nothing open. There's no kind of real pull on any player right here. And so, again, got to create, got to create. You're going to do great job, right? These are the things that are really special, right? His ability to move left, kind of turn and create some torque. Boom, get that ball out. Great play right there when nothing was happening for him on structure. Okay, I just threw this one on here. Don't throw many screens on here. But just again, just see his playmaking. His ability to throw from different arm slots, create the power with his core, and make a good, accurate throw. Because that's the most important thing. I don't want you to use a different arm slot if you don't have to, unless you have the ability to make those different throws. If you don't, then I want you to try to make it uh, as uh, similar to what you do on a normal basis as possible. If you've got the ability to make those throws kind of off balance, different slots, because you have the ability to engage your core, I like to see that. It helps us to understand what a guy is capable of, okay? So right here, he's coming back. They've got a corner route here. That guy's getting jammed. Nice job processing and working to is number two. I love that his body is open and his eyes stay open to this side and he allows everything to come into his vision here. Boom, sets, gets the ball out quickly. Another touchdown pass right there. Okay, again, like the process. Like the process. So you see down here we basically got hitch, stop, inside fade okay so really on this particular look we don't really think inside fade very often unless it's man-to-man -man coverage so you're really coming out and looking at one of these quick throws right here now he wanted to take this one felt like this guy got a little bit close to him okay now what do you do from there again what i love is that he stays in the pocket and he processes he goes back here they've got the swing with the curl once again He's able to start one side, get his eyes back to the other side on time, able to put that curl right on top of his guy, processing in the pocket, stuff that I love to see. All right, so similar type play right here. The hook, 
So you'll notice, right, we, we talk about this all the time, they're running the same sort of plays over and over again. I'd love to see more variety so the quarterbacks have to see and understand more things. But he gets the middle open right here, so he's going to come back and peek this linebacker, see if he's got a shot down the middle, and work from there. Nice job right here. Quick hitch, good pace, good balance in the pocket. Boom. Ball's out, great throw, wrapping it around that linebacker. Seeing the look pre-snap, and then taking advantage of what the defense does post-snap. Okay, another good one, bringing pressure right here from the front side. Should be picked up, I'm guessing, but don't have it picked up. But he's like, hey, my one quick meter is this guy right here one-on-one. -on -one. No hesitation, back, boom, ball's out. Right, beat the pressure with the throw, bang. Knows what he's seeing, put the ball right on your guy, get it out. Okay, again, you see the quick release, boom. Find the one-on-one, -on -one. you've got it. No hesitation back there to get the ball out. Good placement of the ball, outside number. So again, we're seeing so many good things here in terms of processing. Some of it is pre-snap processing. Like the last one, hey, see that the corner's off, I know I got it, catch, boom, 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 ball's out, get a completion. Seeing pressure, right? Attacking defenses with what they're doing. They're gonna bring the corner right here. And again, you'll see off-platform throws, but also the processing. I see the corner coming right here in the RPO. Look at this, I love it. Doesn't have to set his feet, can throw this with his core, boom. Ball's out, get it out to your guy and let him go make a play for you. So much of this is about the quick decisions mentally. Right, it's not a big throw, but it's being able to catch the football, see the pressure, know what the answer is, and then get the ball out quickly to allow your guy to make an adjustment and get in the end zone. All right, I like this one. So it's just a cover two look, two safeties back, I should say. It's a three cloud, double cloud. So they got that third guy back there, and they're running goes and outs goes and outs and so you don't really have a good throw here right there's no good throw to make this particular defense against this and so again part of the processing is hey i don't have anything i don't have to force it i don't have to run around and make a play just take your check down boom get it down play the game sometimes it's just about playing the game as a quarterback making the right decision even if it leads to a punt but you see right here not forcing something not forcing a bad throw getting the check down my check down guy goes and gets the first down for me. All right, so they have basically that same play again over here to the left-hand side. The out and the corner. This is where Caleb is looking here, and he's probably going to have a good shot to one of those guys right there. But you see the pressure come. And again, these things, nice, move, avoid, but now he's not taking off. You know, like some of these other teams or games that I've watched him play, it felt like he was just taking off to create. Uh, here, buying time, settling back in the pocket, working through his progression, and he works back to his backside. Curl, boom, balls out, another good throw, but his ability to avoid and settle in and continue to process information down the field. All right, so this is one here. Probably would have liked him just to take this one right here. I'm not a big fan of the inside fade. <coughs> All right, so in this play, I'd probably like to just see him take this hook again. We've seen it a couple times. This guy's outside leverage. This guy's off because they've got an inside fade here. I'm not a big fan of inside fades against off coverage, and especially off and outside coverage. So I'd love to see him just take the hook right there by the number two, which we've seen him do a couple times. But he decides to take the inside fade, which again, you see it's not a great look right there, but man, it's a great throw. Put your ball right on top of the guy, right? Can't really lay it out there. Got to just drive it effortless throw put it on his back shoulder give him a chance to go adjust to it so you get to see the playmaking and the arm strength and the accuracy and the ability that he has 
with his arm on top of the processing. Okay, here's another one. Comes back here, I love it. Got pressure coming, doesn't matter, knows what he's looking at. Got a double slant here, here. We get the squeeze, just work right outside to your other slant, the pressure's coming. Doesn't matter, voids that pressure, able to throw it more with this core instead of stepping in, which again becomes a big thing in the NFL is you're not always gonna be able to stand and drive the throw and step into every throw. Can you create the power and make the throws with just your core, through your hips? Okay, so we missed the throw here, but I don't mind the throw. Okay, so he's going to his one-on-one -on -one back here. Against press, makes it a little bit harder with the timing. Still has an opportunity over here to go with this high low if he wants to, but I see the look, right? Everybody's pushed over this direction. Let me go try to get my one-on-one -on -one back here. I like the quick hitch, I like the timing. Just a little bit off with the throw right there, but I'm not mad at that, right? You see the other side, right? I always, it's easy to always second guess and go, well, he could have gone back to the other side because there's a guy open, has a couple shots over here, and he does. And I would have liked to see him process that information over there, but I'm not mad at him because I see what he's looking at. He's looking at everybody pushed to the front side. They're bringing some pressure from the back side. Let me go take my one-on-one. -on -one. We just happened to miss it. Okay, I love this. Okay, so this play, trying to really get the back down the sideline. But the first read is this slant here. If that slant's here, take it. If not, we're gonna try to go to the back. And so a lot of guys will just hang and wait and try to get the back if they get the right look. I like seeing guys read through it. Right here, read through it. Hey, they're dropping out. Now he might have had the back down the sideline. Yeah, but don't pass it up, boom. Put the ball on him, nice read. And again, the ability where, okay, I have my feet here, but now I gotta pull it back. Now I gotta throw it without my feet. And the ability to be able to create that power without his feet, another nice trait to have. Okay. I like this one. He comes out. Looks like they're running back to a cover two. They're going to run the go and the out. We saw him pass it up earlier and get to his check down because there was a rolled corner out there. Safety up over the top. Looks like they're going to run back to that same thing right here. But here's what I like. The processing. He's coming out, and although this looks the same, three deep, they're basically rolling underneath it, but what's this corner do? This corner turns his eyes and goes and chases the go route. Processing information, verifying information. You're not just assuming, when you see the safety run back that they're gonna cover it, go read it out. He reads it out. This guy turns and runs, take the voided area underneath. Well done. Playing fast, knowing what he's looking at. Okay, so they're running a similar play to what we saw before. Now it's not with the back. They're just buying time, wheeling this guy down the sideline, running the slant back here. So this is what Caleb's looking at right here. Now they get a cover two look. See, it's kind of the same thing on both sides, running the curl, the wheel, and the swing over here to this side. But looking left first, doesn't have a great job avoiding right there. Now, bad decision, right? Don't make a bad play worse. Nothing's there, you avoid. Sometimes you saw Caleb do this, trying to make too much out of nothing, tries to throw it down the field, make the wild play, and instead it becomes an interception. Just trying to do a little too much there. Has some of that ability, but being smart with the football. Okay, so here we go again, right? We already talked about it before, the hook in the inside fade. And you're gonna watch the inside fade come open again. They hit it the last time, but I like this decision. Outside leverage, off here, just take it. Just play the game. Let the game work for you. Let the concepts work for you. Just come back and just take it. Yep, I see the inside fades open because he throws the football, but this is the right decision in my opinion. All right, so here we go again, same concept. All right, so we're seeing the same concepts over and over again. Right here, but we're taking the slant first. They bring pressure, they void this area right here. 
I like the decision. Don't wait for the double move off the back. Take it. Good throw right there. Good defensive play. And it knocks that away at the last second, but I like the decision in the throw. Okay, so again, these are some of the things that you, you try to figure out in your mind, okay? Why has he taken the slot hook a couple times and passed on it other times? Like, what, what's the thought process? Love to sit down in a room and watch this tape with Caleb and go talk to me. Why'd you take it one time and not the next time? Because the look remains pretty much the same every time. So here it is again. Why not take it? Why, why not just take it right here? Like, what am I seeing here? I think this guy's going to run a corner route right here. What am I seeing to make me not take it? Like, come out and look at this guy if that's the case. Look at this guy. If that guy drops back, take the hook. If you feel this guy driving, okay, now you can go ahead and read your high-low outside off of that. But it just, it just makes me wonder, okay, what are we reading? What are we looking at that's making us get off at one time and not the next time? Consistency remains the key playing the game at the quarterback position no matter what level you play at. Tom Brady made a living, just consistency. They're going to give it to you, keep taking it. Keep taking it. Make them make a mistake and not force you to make a mistake is a big part of playing the quarterback position. So I thought it was important after I watched a couple more tapes to show something like that. I thought Caleb did an unbelievable job in this game of processing information for the most part. Seeing it, going through progressions, understanding what they're giving him out in front of him, making sure that he verifies it, and then making the throws that are there to be made on top of it, okay? I didn't see that in the first tape that I did with a lot of the concepts. Didn't give him a chance to really process information and work through it in the pocket. So it was more playmaking, all right? So it was important to me to come up with a second tape and show you guys the entire gamut of things that I've seen. Um, and again, it's what makes it so hard. One tape, you look at this tape, or if you look at four or five tapes and they all look like this, you're going, okay, I don't know if he can process. Then you see three other tapes where he's processing and he's doing really, really good things. And now we're able to kind of piece things together. Now we get a full picture of maybe more of what Caleb Williams can be at the next level.